Well, we're, we're unloading the last transport trailer. Uh, this uh, load is full of uh, stolen toy items that we seized from the Orphis Road uh, Fragrance Depot uh, business location last week. And so we're just going through uh, storage bins right now of various toy items that have been donated by individuals. And we're just uh, doing a number count on those toy items as as we speak. Anything that's been seized by myself or my office as a, re a result of our investigation is now in the hands of the Salvation Army. And that's a, a good thing. How does it feel, I mean, for all your officers? Well, it feels really good. We're pretty proud of the work we've done this past two weeks. Uh, our investigation really was motivated to see what we could return back to the Salvation Army. There's been, what we've seen is a lot of generous donators, either individuals, businesses, corporations, have donated uh, their products here with the intention that it gets out to the, uh, the poor and the unfortunate and the children, especially this time of year with Christmas. Um, putting the hand, uh, toys back in the hands of children is really what's been driving our, our investigation. So we're, we're really proud uh, to unload this trailer here. Um, we know that as of yesterday and today, the Salvation Army is, is, is redistributing the stolen donation items back out through their donation change. Their donation chain, sorry. Um, ballpark, it's uh, 10 to 15% of uh, what's been stolen is, has now been returned. Our investigation is continuing. Once we get back, uh, after we unload the trailers, we're going in, into the next phase of our investigation to see what other items we can return back to the Salvation Army.